Google's I.O. conference. Everything that happened at Google's I.O. dev conference, you won't believe number five. So welcome back to Startup Hack. With my 25 years of development experience here at Startup Hack, we turn beginners into full stack developers in as little as three months. So Google I.O. just ended and it was packed with AI announcements. As expected, the event focused heavily on Google's Gemini AI models, along with the ways we're being integrated into apps like Workspace and Chrome. If you didn't get to tune into the event live, you can catch up with all the latest from Google here in the roundup down below. So let's dive into the top five highlights from Google I.O. 2024. So let's dive into Google Lens and how it now lets you search by recording a video. So Google Lens already lets you search for something based on images, but now Google's taking things a step further with the ability to search with a video. You can take a video of something you want to search for, ask a question during the video, and Google's AI will attempt to pull up the relevant answers from the web. This feature is a game changer for visual search, making it easier to find information about the world around you. Imagine recording a video of a landmark and instantly getting historical facts and visitors' reviews. So next, let's talk about how Gemini will answer questions about your photo library. Google's rolling out a new feature this summer that could be a boon for anyone with years of photos to sift through. Ask Photos lets Gemini pour over your Google Photos library in response to your questions. It goes beyond just pulling up pictures of dogs and cats. For example, the CEO of Google demonstrated by asking Gemini what his license plate number is, and it responded with the number itself, followed by a picture of it. Now, Google's flagship Gemini model gets faster and more capable. Google introduced a new AI model to its lineup, Gemini 1.5 Flash. The new multi-model is just as powerful as Gemini 1.5 Pro, but it's optimized for narrow, high-frequency, low-latency tasks. This makes it better at Gemini generating fast responses. Additionally, Google has doubled Gemini 1.5 Pro's context window from 1 million to 2 million tokens, improving its ability to translate, reason, and to write code. Now, Gemini is running the users in the workspace. Google is rolling out its latest mainstream language model, Gemini 1.5 Pro, sidebar for Docs, Sheets, Slides, Drive, and Gmail. This model will turn into a general purpose assistant with workspace that can fetch info from any and all of the content from your drive. It can also perform tasks for you like writing emails emails that incorporate info from a document you're currently looking at. Early testers have access to these features and Google says it's rolling out to all the paid Gemini subscribers next month. They also talked about Project Astra and how it's Google's Star Trek AI feature. So Project Astra is a multimodal AI assistant that Google hopes will become a do-everything virtual assistant. It can watch and understand what it sees through your device's camera, remember where your things are, and do things for you. It powered many of the most impressive demos from I.O. this year. Google aims for Astra to be honest to goodness AI agent that can not just talk to you, but also actually do things on your behalf. So what are your thoughts? What did you like about the Google I.O. this year? Do you like the things? Do you have thoughts on them? I love having a good, healthy discussion, so make sure to leave a comment down below and make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Here at Startup Hack, we love training software developers. With my 25 years of development experience, we take people with zero experience and help to train them to be ready to start as full stack software developers in as little as three months. So make sure you check out the link below or go to startuphack.com today.